so hey what is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to tech Karen youtube channel miui 12 based miui grecian mode is available for the redmi note 9 s and redmi note 9 pro users which is cortana if you're using a cortana device this one is a miui grecian mode which has some customization which is based on the global stable and as you can see this is a view latest update grecian.ru which is very cool kind of a custom room which has a cool kind of battery backup and some little bit of extra features which i'm going to share with you in this video stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end video is going to be quite interesting i'm going to show you some cool and interesting things about this build and alongside with the installation so stay tuned and now let's get started Yes, the build which we're talking about right now is the Mio version global 12.0.2 stable version which has this Android version 10 with the November security patch and this one is the Grecian one which is based on this one we already know we view latest update and this one is based on the global stable so has all the global features but alongside with that some extra interesting features which are those features the build is quite smooth it's based on the stock room so the one thing make sure that that this is not a mere tool build this cannot be installed on the poco m2 pro this cannot be installed on the redmi note 9 pro max or any other joy use device or whatever if you have a katana then you will be able to use this build i have applied a custom theme right now let me show you the theme which i have applied so far as you can see grecian repack the theme store if you don't know in the global stable build you will not get this chinese theme store you by default gets that indian global theme store which does not allow you to import the third party themes but in this theme store you will be able to import the third party themes very easily we have the import option available the theme which i am using right now in my case is called rise and this theme seems to be looking really interesting and also the my device is looking quite fast so with, uh, by applying this theme the device performance has no issues you can apply these themes and as i previously told you this theme this theme center is quite good you will be able to use this one if you go for the icons, no icons pre-installed. If you go for the fonts, nothing is pre-installed. So you need to install everything on your own. Nothing else is pre-installed in this build. You can customize a lot of things here. For example, if you go for the theme components, you'll be able to improve your status bar. You'll be able to customize your lock icons and messaging favorite stray a lot more things with it with this build but you need to install many things on your own going for the things as you guys already know that the room is quite smooth this is the global stable and this seems to be working really nice here i didn't got any major issues till now which has all the main features if you go for this power menu where we have the advanced reboot option available if you enable it from the settings no nothing else because this is not eu based this is a global stable so you don't have any kind of features you have only those features which you get in global stable here if you're noticing you don't have any kind of dividers available if you're seeing this no dividers options available so this seems to be a little bit of different here other things let me show you one more thing just enabling my wi-fi once and let me show you one thing if i go for the magisk manager first of all so let me show you that how about my safety net status and other things which matters a lot of course in my case i'm using the latest magisk v21.1 version if you go for the safety status by default the safety status will not pass we already know about that but if you go for the other things for example if you go for the hide images and other things you'll be able to pass the safety status very easily and alongside with that if you go for your play store let me show you by going into here we don't have the device certified option available maybe by default yes by default our device is not certified so this is the thing which you need to keep in mind to check out these kind of things other things are same here you'll not be able to use the banking apps but that's not the big case the room seems to be really nice here let's take a look at some little bit of extra things if you're looking for the features if you're looking for the things which are working or which are not working i'll not be able to tell you because this is just based on the normal official stable room so everything is working here this is a room which has some little bit of things added it does not come with any kind of ads first of all not in the stock room no any extra apps no blotware as you can see not a single app from the google play store is installed so this seems to be really nice
nice here you can import the third party themes if you go for the theme store you'll be able to import the third party themes by going into theme section so this seems to be really nice some cool kind of things important features are available all the apps are updated and up to date if you go for the settings and find out some things which you get here let me show you if you go for the lock screen we have the same kind of features available if you go for the display options we have the dark mode 3.0 which i don't think so was available pre-installed by default in the stable build if you haven't checked it you can go and check it out we also have the schedule dark mode option available and these are some little bit of features we include the screen brightness for calls maximum brightness on call and maximum brightness in the gallery this was the feature which you get in mi room but unfortunately the room is now not available the text size and font weight and we also have the animations we have the gestures on the desktop folder related customizations many kind of things are available we also have the option of checking in the screen time app if you want to choose the MIUI app for the screen time you can choose that one or if you're looking for the google well-being it's up to you, you can choose that one too other things are same here like the control center and notifications shade but here we have the personalized clock options available where you can customize your clock size in the status bar and clock size in the curtain toggles related customization and dual network icon style and size of the notification icons network speed interval and some little bit of interesting cool kind of features arrangement of the tiles if you saw this feature i've enabled this one if you go for the control center you can see the tiles are now changed we don't have the data usage tile option is available why because i have option i have enabled this option if i disable this option right now let me show you it will just force stop it will just force restart our system ui once and now after doing this one as you can see now we have this data limit and all these things are available so a little bit of things available like the control center related customization and other things control center with a swipe on the left some features which you don't get in the stock room by default are now added in the stock room with a grecian repack so this seems to be really nice sound and vibration includes the same kind of features we have the adjust the volume button related thing option available here if you go for the additional settings no extra things to talk about here going for the other things like notification if you go for the notification shade we have the option to customize the MIUI or android related customization and if you go for the home screen here we have the background in the folder related customizations where you can customize the background background type of that folder and color blur and we have the unlock animation disable and scrolling at the desktop icon size home screen layout includes many kind of things by default you don't have these kind of things available you can choose up to 7 by 8 from 4 by 5 so this is really interesting other things are same here you don't get the horizontal reasons by the by the way but yes you can enable them very easily by installing the alpha launcher update if it is possible for you wallpapers must have wallpapers and nothing else so you just need to disable this one themes kind of a same if you go for the password and security same here but we have extra option which is called unlock after reboot now we have the privacy protection battery and performance let me show you the what about the my battery stats till now i'm using from some time and these are my battery stats as you can see seven hours and 43 minutes of the screen on time with 32 percent still left so the battery stat seems to be okay you can uh, like normal like the same stable one so this was expected also Other other things same here we have the special features options available game turbo video toolbox floating window and if you're looking for the features here we don't have any kind of features because this is based on stable version but only the little bit of extra features were added in the settings but nothing else is here the room seems to be quite great if you want to install this room how you can install that let me show you the file which you need to for installation of this file just go to your file browser where we have a downloaded that file in my case this file is what you need grecian.ru redmi note 9 s katana v 12.0.2.2 qjw and winxm stable 10.0 zip so just boot into custom recovery once and let's find out how you can install this build on your device as in my case i'm using orifox custom recovery in my redmi note 9 pro you can use the twrp or you can use any other custom recovery like the LOS recovery also it's up to you but orange fox custom recovery is recommended for you so after booting into custom recovery if you're encrypted like me just enter your lock screen password to decrypt your data 
and I will of course uh, prefer you to use encryption and if you are encrypted then it's quite good so to install that build of course we have to we need to wipe the partitions that all we catch and data in the dynamic partitions you will not be able to wipe the system unfortunately but these partitions you need to wipe and if you have a room available in your SD card or in your PC it's better to format data once and after that do all those things but in my case I already I'm just gonna share with you the things just install this build and also let me tell you you just need to install this build and done if it is showing any kind of error or if you're still not able to boot you can install the dm verity you can use the permissiver those things you need to keep in mind but in my case i will not be able to install these kind of things because i don't need them this is working fine here let me show you as you can see it's showing as a mio 12 for admin note man is kirtana build global stable multi-language repack by grecian updates grecian.ru you can go and check it out this official update from this and it will take some time after that reboot format data or reboot or you can install the permissiver if it is necessary and very easily you'll be able to install this build on your redmi note 9 s or redmi note 9 pro Kitana. this is all from today's video i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching and goodbye